only report to say, wake up Americans, you're about to be pulled into a war with Arabs, with the Muslim world, and you're going to be made to believe that something horrible that happened to you was done by the Muslims. But it wasn't done by the Muslims, it was done by a wild card, the Israeli Mossad, that's cunning and ruthless and can carry out attacks on Americans and make it look like Arabs did it. That's the literal definition of a false flag. And he's right that that's a false flag. That's not my conspiracy theory. That's the U.S. Army report the day before, published the day before 9-11. Yes. You can call me any name you want to call me. That's a U.S. Army report. They warned us. They were telling us what Israel is capable of doing. My friends, we're about to be pulled into another war in the Middle East to attack Iran, and they're going to do it the same way that they did 9-11. There's going to be a horrific attack, and they're going to be, there's going to be all this evidence that it was carried out by Iran. And then they're going to, the people in America are going to be riled up to anger, to fury, to get revenge. It's going to have to be bloodletting. It's going to have to be revenge. And all the while, the Israeli Zionists are sitting back in their offices laughing and smiling. They worked one more time, and thousands of American soldiers are going to die on a battlefield for Zionism. The entire generation lost. I'm doing everything I can to stop it. I'm doing everything I can to expose it. You know what's so funny? It was a whole bunch of Jewish people celebrating on uh, top of buildings. And they had called off that day for some odd reason. You know, uh, there's a lot of conspiracies. But <laughs> the evidence is not pointing at Islam. This was an inside job.